Hey, what's up? It's me, Ahmad, and I'm back with season nine of Modern Family Out of Context. Anyway, ignore the fan. It's hot. I'm in Louisiana. It feels like it's hot, okay? It's just hot. And y'all say climate, people say climate change not real. Anyway, um, let's not get into that. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And other than that, let's get into today's video. It feels like we're in San Tropez. I don't trust lakes. Where I come from, this is where we dump drugs and dead bodies. Got you. Oh God, this is happening. Um, I, I, um, I, uh, so Spit I- Spit it out. Uh, I'm, I'm not here to take anything from you. I'm here to be my true self. Oh, and my God true self is Aunt Becky. I am a lawyer. A lawyer? Ew. Well, that's ew for two. How is she? Not good, full recovery. <laughs> Explain yourself. I'm taking photos of your feet for perverts. Ew. Hear me out. I hate to interrupt, but if you just scream, you'll call her back. You might want to see how Joe's party's going. Anda, bueno, llame después que tengo que colgar que hay una fiesta aquí. We get it. You have a boyfriend. Look, Pam made her bed. Now she needs to get out of it so I can flip the mattress and make some money off of it. <laughs> Sounded more pimpy than I intended. Mm. 1,000 steps from glory. Like the rest of you, she was motivated by my stingy praise. As I look around the room, I see nothing but winners, and I couldn't be prouder. To us, everyone here is a winner. Don't worry, he'll be fine. All I have to do is wear a different shoe every day. Hitting all of the right notes. Ship it. Now that Manny's away at college and Joe goes to kindergarten, I have time for one of my old hobbies, confronting the devil in all his forms. Hey, it's Ahmad. Um, obviously, the editing process for this video took a lot longer than expected. The last video came out in May. It is now November, but life happened. I'll explain in another video. Anyway, since it's Thanksgiving time, Thanksgiving is literally tomorrow in America, but um, I decided to like make a little quick section of the video called Thanksgiving out of context. So it's just the Thanksgiving episode just randomly put together. Anyway, hopefully y'all enjoy this. Let's get into it. I'll get you up to speed in a hurry, buddy. The story of Thanksgiving. Here goes. It's no use. Ah! I can't do it. Oh! oh, honey, wait! You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. I'm the only loser in a remarkable family of winners. No, no, no. We are not all winners. It turned out we all stink. It doesn't matter. I don't want to live a life ruled by fear. I have to do this trick today. Although it is getting hard to breathe. Don't stop, Dad. You can do this. I believe in you. It's not helping, honey. Very interesting. OK, I'm just going to try to barrel through this. It's Normandy. I'm an American GI named Tony Rossetti. I'm from Brooklyn, and I love my mama's home cooking. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get out. Is he talking as Tony Ronsetti or as Phil? What I'm having anxiety, and I have to confess. No, you are, you are not going to confess. You're going to smush that anxiety into a little ball, and you're going to push it into that little tiny hole in your soul where childhood traumas go. Everybody here is a winner. If you end up being the one loser at the table, I'm going to get nothing but condescending pity from everybody, especially Claire, that insufferable phony. <laughs> so pretty. Erky is going to be ready in 10 minutes. What is Phil? I'll let him know. OK. 10 minutes. I can't take it. Just breathe, Dad. We are breaking this fear of yours. I'm dying here. Hey, 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 look at me. Do you want to spend the rest of your life as an open space magician? Yeah. You got this. There was once a land of godless natives. They did not know any better until one day the white man arrived. What is this? 
The white man took pity on these primitives by teaching them to cultivate the lands, but their kindness was mistaken for aggression, and a war began. What kind of school is this? This is what I was taught. What? Eventually, peace was restored, and we bestowed them with our nation's highest honor, naming football teams for them. Joe, what play is this? I wasn't in a play. I don't go to school anymore. Thank you for watching. Now let's go back to regular programming. Good. You're home. One second. Papi, you look great in that new shirt. So handsome. Hey, Gloria. Oh, I thought you were money. Good. You're caught up now. You did it, you bastard. Be the Pam, did you remember the oranges? Say oranges one more time. Oranges. Say it one more time! Oranges, oranges. Only eight more days of cat antibiotics. Say antibiotics one more time. Antibiotics. <laughs> oh, hey, Gloria. <gasps> I finally found a great spot for the Wi Fi just in time for the pumpkin weigh in. You sit here while I take a bath? I'm gay. Hello. I'm more fixated on that fabulous robe. I am so borrowing that for my next bath. You didn't drain the water yet, did you? You've been looking for your own special space. Somewhere you can call your resting place. You've been looking for your kids and your spouse. It's time to buy yourself a Dumphy house. Oh, Dumphy, Dumphy, Dumphy. They're affordable and comfy, comfy, comfy. I can't believe he's actually making it work. I'm surprised you were open to this. I'm surprised you know how to do this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Mui kind, Pero, I know you're only doing it to make me feel moss better. Wow, somebody's been listening to Rosetta Stone in the car. Is there something you're not telling me about this house? I am kind of getting a murdery vibe. Okay. The only killing that's ever going to happen in this house is the one that's going to happen when you sell the place. <laughs> Laughter makes the spirits hungry, Phil. Spirits? You mean there's more than one? Although, the scene of him playing his father denying him a startup loan, surprisingly powerful. Daddy wins! Do you believe in miracles? USA! People to the fierce warrior inside every man. My eyeliner keeps smudging. Thanks a lot, gal at the Mac counter. Who cares? We look great. Let's do this. This is Gloria. She'll be addressing your concerns. Nice to meet you. I instantly trust you. Why is that? Oh, I got it. We were once cats together. I was a little grumpy. Um, uh, could we could we change the song? The poppy cadence is throwing off my more bluesy lovemaking oh. style. Oh, oh Dios mío! Don't you ever knock? This is my bedroom. I can't believe this is happening again. Again? Oh. We should have gotten arrested. Mom, where are you? I made you a valet. Okay, what kind of freak show goes on here when I'm not around? While America was doing the hustle, Jay was hustling to build an empire, which is why one newspaper called him the hardest working man in closets. That was an ad. Who would have thought the company built by that little boy would one day be the toast of the international closet world? Congratulations. We did it. Knowing what a decent person you are, I'm sure you plan. Oh, open this door! Hello? Uh, how long do you expect me to wait out there in the car? Uh, oh, God, please tell me this is your cab driver. Uh, I'm Heather. It's like Feather, but with an H. I'm familiar with the name. Uh, I'll be right out, sweetie. I'm just finishing up with my client. OK, Mr. Pringle, you can expect delivery of one male and one female chinchilla in the next. Oh, how cool. This is both an opener and a stopper. Nice. Well, I guess what it does for bottles, it also does for conversations. Wait, is that Ronaldo? <laughs> Meechel. <laughs> what a surprise. And who is this? I always assumed I was your sexiest Latin friend. <laughs> this is Gloria, Gloria Ronaldo. Bolivian? Guatemalan, Venezuelan. Colombian. Mm -hmm. Not sure what this is. Um... Get in. 
What am I looking at here? Oh, Nothing. it's a role-playing thing we do on Valentine's. It bumps the lovemaking up. Phil, from, uh, why? Chlor Busy, Luke. We can't have people call things sober. They realize it's a waste of time. I'm not even sure I want to be a cart girl anymore. Rhonda asked me to be her personal assistant. I know this isn't the most glamorous job, but it offers more of a future than being an assistant to some gold digger. Hello? Hey, good news. Voorhees has a friend, and he wants to fly us all to San Francisco tonight. You're on a good path here. You're making money. There's opportunity for advancement. It's going to be great. Best hotels, best restaurants, round-the-clock nursing. You're better than her, Haley. I'm in. Oh, good. The car will pick us up at 5, right after dinner. <laughs> Why do they even bother? It's like what I say to you goes in one ear, out the other. Babysitter, the kid's asleep. You are the foxy bad boy who sneaks over with some wine coolers. Oh, radical. Now that I'm six, I like girls, but I love two girls, the Little Mermaid and Claire. There's no sense denying it. Life as we know it has changed. Yeah, yeah. From now on, you'll be dancing on Tuesdays. Oh, when all this FaceTiming. Hey, guys. So, hey, listen. Oprah knows about the candy dish. I don't know what you're talking about. There are cameras, Mitchell. You need to bring it back. It's quite meaningful. She stole it from... <laughs> got it as a gift from Michelle Obama. Oh, oh my, my God. God. We have Michelle Obama's candy dish. Oprah Winfrey has our number. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The scenery here makes me like this one, mucho more. You don't have to impress me with money or name dropping, I think. I like you. Don't tell this to my madame, but I cannot accept any money from you. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I talk with you for a moment? Yes. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Huh? The hotel owner is very strict about women who do what you do. Ooh, you're going to take me to a room where the hotel owner is going to give me a very tough, sexy talking to. No, you're going to leave or we're going to call the police. Yes, call Gloria. the police. I've been a very, very bad girl. Good. Yeah. OK, it's good, but is it wow? We're inviting eight people over for brunch with an invitation that reads friends, Romans, hungry men. They're going to say wow. That's why you have to be careful. Everyone dies. You can choke or something very heavy can fall on top of your head. One time I heard there was a little kid that exploded. The nuns said that it was because of unclean thoughts. Do you get all this? Yes, Mommy. Those are your friends. Go welcome them. Hi, Joe. I brought cupcakes. Well, what's the point? How would these chairs be out here and how do they connect to the moose? These footprints are in a... Really weird pattern. Why do these steps feel so familiar? Cam and I were. Uh, what is that? A uh, harp? No! Dios mío, no! The angels are coming down! You cannot have him yet! Hey, I, I just had an impulse. Let's skip the massage. I'll grab some wine and you can meet me in the bedroom. Go on, get in there. Do you have any experience with law enforcement? Big time. I, I don't trust uh, cops. Uh, also, I despise robbery victims. They're the real criminals for clogging up our court system. Nice try, Juror 3. What about economic hardship? The last time I missed work, the California closet market collapsed. Some people think that caused the LA riots. Uh, I must be done talking. I'm going into labor. Ma'am, ma'am, everything's going to be all right. Bailiff, help Juror 11 with anything she needs. And bring in the next alternate. Uh, as her Lamaze coach, I think I should probably be out in the hall with... Here's a trick that I used when I was coming of age. So I had a little bit of self-control problem, and I would put a rubber band around my wrist and flick it every time I got the urge to flick it. Ew. You used to snap one of those like crazy whenever we watched Duke's Hazard. Yeah. I got through all seven seasons, zero incidents. Like a dead unpaid gardener, a dead jealous boyfriend, a dead dog who left something unfetched. Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh, she's just taken with the natural light and the flow at this price. It, it still gets me every time. Hey! Uh, sorry for bothering you. Here's a writing tip. Show me you're sorry for bothering me. Don't tell me. Okay, let's take a picture of the two new best friends. Come together. I should never have left my tree. 
Can't believe no one told me kickball is performed on grass. I can barely stand Shakespeare in a park. This is not great for your people. Mm -hmm. OK, Lionel, bring me home. You got this. Yes, I do, sir. <laughs> All right. Yeah! Oh, my God, what is happening? Oh. Hit him, Pepper, hit him. Oh. Hit Cam. Oh, my God. You can't possibly think that's what he meant. Oh. We share everything. We share a toothbrush. We do? Happy we're doing this. We haven't done anything spontaneous in forever. I hope you like what I picked out for us. It is a little fruitier than we're used to. Oh, what a day, huh? No. Togas and health scares. Mitchell, I love you, and I don't want Caleb to get between us. Oh, so where do you want me then? <gasps> what? Oh, my God. What are you doing here? Me? I... Cameron said that you liked me, and then you said meet you in the bedroom. You told Caleb that I liked him. You told him to meet you in the bedroom. I thought I was talking to you. Well, guys, it sounds like all three of us could really use this. Come on, Dad. Isn't it weird that every year you signal out one person who somehow made you extra proud this year? It makes the rest of us it's feel you, like... It's you, Claire. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. And he said yes. This year old kid doesn't give you a card. You get so mad you throw a tire iron through the windshield. It's got to be deeper than that. Nobody speaks to my son like that. No, 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 mom, mom, mom. Please don't get up and make a scene and embarrass me more. I'm begging you. OK, but you don't have to block me in. I am not crazy. I am not the hot-headed Latina that you all make me out to be. You sent a cow heart to a children's soccer referee. Manny, what else was I supposed to do? Look. <laughs> uh, see, there's this other thing. I knew it. You are in my eyeline. No, wait. Yeah, come here. Terry was just sitting there by himself because everybody's always afraid to talk to the prettiest girl, except this guy. It's all about confidence. Excuse me, but... <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Bradshaw. Jay Pritch. You can do to make it better? Yes, you can make Chris Martin go away now. Oh. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I oh, didn't mean to cause... No, 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 no. It's, it's not you personally. No, 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 it is me. I'm a distraction. Everyone wants to say hi, or they want to take a picture, they want to sleep with me. They sure do. Shut her down, Marie. And it's a... Good. Good. Uh, no Velcro. Our brand is a little more upscale. What do you say? Yeah. Get in there. It's fine. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> and from what fromage? You're from Lubbock, Texas. <gasps> you son of a bitch. Have, have a show. show. Uh -huh. Would you pick us? Um, it it costs you nothing to say yes. yes. Oh my God, we agreed again. Aww. Aww. I'm in the bathroom. Come in. Oh, uh, it, it's Phil. Come in. Phil Dunphy. Phil. Hey. The dress is in the back over there. Oh, Cam, I hate to think of you living all alone in that tiny apartment with a broken ankle. <gasps> and on the same day, she's emailing you. It's too soon to move in with <sighs> someone. I strongly discourage it. Which is exactly why I did it. And because, and because we were in love, so are much. in love. Yes. Oh, my God. Mitchell, she's everywhere. She is. Cam. I'm scared. Survival vlog number two. Um, I descended into the water attempting to retrieve my gear. I encountered slippery rocks, uh, a cold, brisk current, and although I have no photographic evidence of it, a sea serpent. And has anyone in your family ever been the victim of a violent crime? Well, my mother. Psst, not you, keep going. Actually, could you tap him on the shoulder? Juror 11, is this man bothering you? You're talking about the movie critic, right here? Absolutely, he's Objection. bothering me. Objection! I request permission to approach Mr. Bradshaw. No! I mean, denied. But that's not a thing you can ask. Your Honor, we'd like to dismiss juror number three. What? No, no! I'll be good, I promise. Sir, you have to leave now. Fine. I'm going. I'll be waiting in the parking lot, buddy. Judge hit me with a restraining order, but Terry had to sign it. Here, they'll be fine. <laughs> okay, truth. How old were you when you first kissed a boy? Mm, a boy person? Mm. You passed out. Those stickers on your arms are loaded with all sorts of chemicals. We called your emergency contacts. Your boyfriend's here.
Hey, sunshine. And it's going to be impossible to judge the silk shirts. They're supposed to blouse, not cling. Hey, can I see that card for a second? What are you doing? I'll put this card back in your hand when you Photoshop that kid's head in an alligator's mouth. This isn't exciting to you. Use your imaginations. Picture me standing next to Gloria in a wedding dress. We're done. <laughs> she won't budge. <laughs> the only logical explanation is that somebody snuck into my closet and shrunk my wedding dress. Like. Probably my sister will know that your attitude is just a defense mechanism to protect the tiny little ego from the truth that you don't deserve any praise, that you're a fraud, that you're just a big fat nobody. <laughs> All men break the same. Ready for some magic. Bill, Gloria, you're up. Honey, you okay? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, the scientists would have you believe that time travel is poppycock, but today, on the anniversary of the wonderful Gloria and Jay, I shall confound the skeptics and transport this beautiful woman back in time to the day of her wedding. Gloria, get in the box. Drum roll. Please. Woo! Yes, drums! Yes! Anyway. Watch as she disappears into the wormhole. That's my trick. I'm done. What do you mean you're done? Bring her back. OK, I'm ready. You made my dream disappear. Now yours is gone. Hola. What to come out? Phil, Phil, you are DDing my party. Your father DDed my life. Milo just texted me back. OK, what'd he say? You're a jerk. Winky eye face with the tongue hanging out. Oh, oh. you're in. Yeah. You're in. <laughs> Do not text him back, OK? But when you see him on Monday, walk right past him and throw him a quick, hey. Hey. Yeah. All right, you girls got it from here. We have a dinner reservation. Time. Chapter five. Toss that clown. He's been keeping you down. Cam, I spent my whole life trying to get out from underneath my mother's thumb, and I, I finally thought that that was over, so to find out that she's been secretly managing me through you. Okay, I... before you throw a clot, please, come look at my laptop. Read the emails your mother and I have sent. 743 emails. It's mostly from one thread. It was all so diabolical and it went deep. She tricked us into making every decision in our lives. For example, 12 years ago, she sent me pictures of adorable Asian babies. While hitting me with a little reverse psychology. Mitchell. America has taken so much from the Vietnamese. Do you really want to snatch one of their children? I do if you don't want me to. Hang on. You're not hungover. Hair's conservative, no cleavage. Oh my god, you're trying to make a good impression. You're in love. Shut up, I am not. Oh, I don't know. I see how hard you work at this relationship. You woke up early to watch soccer and you called it football. Oh, just calm down. It's been three months and everyone knows Liverpool is having a cracking good year. Still. Oh, so, Vi, I've seen your mom at parent night. You know what? I've never seen your dad. He works late a lot. Well, I hope that's true, sweetie. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. Sometimes fathers lie. It's better for you to find out now than when you're a 40-year-old man. 40? OK, speaking of fathers lying, can I talk to you for a second? Anybody got a spoon? We could Shawshank this thing. It didn't go so well when you diehearted it. OK, full disclosure, if I don't feel supported, I tend to shut down. OK. I'm, uh, I'm getting stuffy. Is it, is it getting stuffy in here? Come on, there's got to be something in this place that can help us. My little piggies got so sweaty. Sexy, right? No, I'll... That's when they looked up, and there was Wichita Willie, the noose still dangling from his neck. Ah! Hey, sweetie, what you guys doing? Have you heard of Twice Hung Willie? Um, yes, I'm familiar with his films, but... Uh... What are you doing here? It's a penis, Gary. What? What? Oh, what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Keep up the great work. It couldn't have been easy keeping that sewer gator under wraps. <laughs> what alligator? <laughs> no, that. See, that. That's not fair. Just because I'm not part of your little cul-de-sac cult 
Your little cult de sac. Oh, that was a good one. I think you made your point. Why don't we get going? Claire, this is the first we're hearing about your she shed. Oh, then I've got something for you right here. She's got a gun! <laughs> Robbery would have been a fun way to start the day. Yeah, hi, have you guys considered using the Waze app? I could uh, fire it up and be kind of like a goose. Oh, did you see that? See what? I, I'm blocked, I can't see anything. That jerk just cut off that old lady. Wanna mess with him? Mess with who? Is that allowed? What's he gonna do, call the cops? Yeah. <laughs> Can you speak up a little bit? I'm losing the threat. That's <laughs> the siren. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Now. Oh! Oh my God, it's freaked out. Oh, he's pulling over. Put these on and glare at him. Okay, okay. That's right. You know you were bad. Sit in your shame like a dog. <laughs> You're a natural. Oh my God, that was such a rush. I imagine that's what it feels like to punch a guy or, or catch a ball while running. Oh, hey, Chatty Cathy's heads up. Possible 1099 right over here. What? A couple low lowlifes over there exchanging cash money. That's because it's a newsstand, and I'm pretty sure a 1099 is a tax form. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, what is it a form these days? School board's got me buried in paperwork. I gotta get three John Hancocks just to take a leak. We're the same, see? Uh oh, a bunch of uh, opera singers prancing around. It uh, takes its toll on the foundation. Hey, I'm here to pick up Mom's old boombox from storage. She needs it for... How many Mannies do you see through these things? That's Gloria's ex-boyfriend. Wait, how far ex? Roughly 20 years. Oh, my God. Is, is it possible? What is Gloria saying? She hasn't even seen him yet. The odd bit is these two clones don't see the resemblance. Maybe she won't either. I'm not going to force it on her. I mean, it's no easy thing to say. Is there a chance you're so dumb you don't even know who the father of your baby is? And your eyes meet my take it piano guy. Look at him go. You know, he was raised a mama's boy. Now he's a strong capable man making nonsense noises that sound a lot like instruments. Let's hear that guitar weep. Hey, kids. Watch out for the naked man. What? Good luck. Yep. Yeah. To a Joe's party? Oh, OK, Cal, come give your Uncle Mitchell a hug. Hug! No, no, no hug. No, where, where is he? Which, which way is he coming from? Oh! <laughs> Just you guys, what the? No, don't look at that. Please, I'm so sorry. Enough! Enough! Everybody out, even the kids. I can't fight this anymore. Go to the nice party. Just follow the ferry. She meant me. Everybody calm down. That's right. Watch them scatter. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, honey. I've been out of cell range for most of the day. I want to check in, see how you're doing. Oh. Great, great. The air, the uh, the trees. Moss only grows on the north side of trees, right? I feel like I might be walking in circles. Is there something called uh, fool's moss? I don't know. You sound out of breath. Is everything OK? No, Claire, I'm worried that a bear, or even a family of bears, <laughs> is, is hunting me. Of course I'm OK. I've only been out here for a couple hours. Uh, uh, what kind of man do you think I am? Well, it sounds like we're both having an adventure. I just got on a scale and guess how much I weigh. Five tons. Yeah, well, we all put on a few around the holidays. Mwah! Let me call you back a little later. Meanwhile, uh, I am sending you a pic of me enjoying nature at my last known location in my very identifiable red Gore-Tex jacket. Anywho, uh, leave a check out for the gardener, and you gave my life meaning. Uh, I want to see, let, let me through, let me through. Oh, you're the spoiler. I didn't do it on purpose. It was the fool maker! The scepter is a prop, okay? It's just the power of suggestion. Mitchell, they want to take away my all-access pass. You've got to help me. You know this scoundrel? Uh, yeah, I think our kids go to school. Mitchell! Okay, yes, 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 I know him, I know him. They're monsters. They've been pelting me with Chobani flail spheres. Wait, is Chobani like the yogurt? The show took on corporate sponsors in season four. Oh. Yeah! Seriously, Gary! I helped you build a deck! Okay, stop, stop, but what are we doing, huh? Is this how Norths behave? Actually, we're quite warlike. OK, well, look, look, this man, he made a mistake. But if we banish him, we're no better than the people who shamed us all these years, who, who picked us last for team sports, who left us off of group emails about bar association dances. We're all oddballs and misfits and weirdos. But the great thing about this place is we all belong, especially this good man who gave me the courage to conquer my fear and become part of this community. Let's welcome him back. The red one, Gary. 
How are you feeling? Hi. If you need some time to process that stuff about your dad, you, you should. Oh, no, I'm fine. Unlike the chlorine in Melanie's hair that won't do any permanent damage. Hey! I'm working here, sweetie. Hi, girls. I'm Lily's cool Aunt Pam. I brought lighters for everyone. Please be nice. All right, we are done. What do you think? I wanted to look like Selena Gomez. Oh, well, I wanted a daddy that would respect his wedding vows, but we can't all get what we want. Dream smaller. There you go. Out to her again. It was a disaster the first time. I was, I was so wishy-washy about the whole thing that when, when I finally said, I, I think I might be gay, she said, ew. Well, are you sure she didn't mean, ooh? No, no. It was followed up by a whole bunch of stuff about me making Jesus cry. So oh. For 20 years, I, I've regretted that moment, and today, I get the chance to make it right. Or you could just leave a poor old demented woman alone and not make her stroke all about you. Why do I even bring you to these things? Wait, are, are you are you gonna kill out of bio? What? No, no. Who's who who's out of bio? <laughs> oh dear lord, it is true. You fool! Why would you ask him that? I'm sorry. We all stay off of spoiler sites for a reason. Of course. This show is the only thing I've got going on and you ruined it! Oh! No! They let you bring your spheres? They took away my tweezers! High Cleric overcomes the curse of the Fool Maker by being pure of heart and goes on to be a great inspirer of people. Do you think... You seem glum. Perhaps you should be turning your passions elsewhere. You're right. I'm going back to vet school. It's about time I grew up. Now that you're so into the wild... I like where this is going. Rawr. Don't do that, please. Good catch, Pritch. <laughs> he gets a nickname now? Looking squirrely. Yep, we got a runner. Um, Stick by me. Oh my god, this, this is happening? This is happening, okay. Hey, guys! Guys! Th there's no handles back here! I wanna come! Ow. Paper cut course today. Seriously? This is part of the underwear prophecy? Are you being a little bad? Phil? A little bit harder to connect the dots on that one, but coincidences do happen. We're gonna get through this together, Philip. I guess I just don't understand why you're here. Well, because you really reached me back there, and I realized I gotta be more of a regular guy. Yeah. What is wrong with the cowards, Phil? Needs help! when they catch him. Sleeping pills in his cookies. Joe, who are you talking to? Hi. <gasps> oh, jeez, we dropped you off at college two hours ago. My god, even Haley lasted longer. I needed my white noise machine. Or did you need your brown noise machine? No, and I think I'm offended for you. Where could you be? Money, I am very busy. Got this wait. I've waited 10 years. This is happening. Sit. Hey, I'm watching something. Yes, you are. <clears throat> Presenting Rap City and Ribbon. You're it. I'm hiding. One, two, three, four, mm. five, six. No, no, no. Your chest shouldn't be lifting. Come place your hands on my neck. Oh. From Switzerland and just sit in a big thing of like Swiss chocolate and, and yodel. Okay, we're done. You have to tell you something. I'm really, really sorry, but I'm seeing someone. Really? Yeah. Yes! Woohoo! Thank goodness. It's the jewel. Hold on a second. Excuse me. What the hell are you up to? She stole my necklace. So you try to manipulate a sick woman for your own personal agenda? Aunt Becky, hi. You remember when you came to see me ice dance and you said that I looked like a little sissy? Well, I'm daddy. Out. Backing up. 
Shut up, Bart. I don't know what you're looking at, because I don't ever remember selling you a looking license. <laughs> it must be 5 a.m. outside the McDonald's, because the fresh meat just got delivered, and the weasel likes fresh meat. Hey, you back off him. That new boy's mine. Oh, right. Uncle Cam. What do we have? Like... I come. Like. Drive strong, brother. <sighs> hey, Claire. Hi, honey. How's it going? Just sitting here by a perfect mountain stream. Nothing beats the raw beauty of the great outdoors. <laughs> a little sensitive there. Yeah, you have a little bite there. Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, that's a little tight. But I can see where Manny gets his soft hands from. Oh, that's a very, very eye-opening. Uh, uh, class, I wrote and directed a short. I felt the horror genre was the best way to grapple with the struggles of our time. When Manny first came to me with the project... You read a script I left out and you elbowed your way in. Semantics, I was going to be the silent money, but it turns out I've got some natural storytelling talent. So I took on a more creative role. In spite of that, I got my first A. Our first A. He's perfect. So, Jorge, um, you were Gloria's boyfriend right before Javier. Yeah, and a little during, you know. She kind of bounced around between the two of us. Um, uh, where is she anyway? I got to be at a Dodger game in an hour. A boy? No, a buoy. Oh, my captain, it's stuck in the... Oh! Ah! Ah! The sun! Ah! Gloria, I'm sorry. You're my wife. I love you and I trust you. You can't reason with a sociopath. You lure them with kindness. You lull them into thinking you're on the same side and then nail them with incontrovertible evidence, which I had. The twitching thumbs, the phantom vibrations, salads left uninstagrammed. But then the strangest thing happened. Have you ever stopped to smell these things? <laughs> it's been years since I LOL'd IRL. I even found an old book in the truck and started reading it. The only problem was people kept interrupting. I didn't need a phone anymore. I just needed a quiet place to find out how they kill that mockingbird. Cameron Jessica Tucker, listen to me. You need to stop those dirty jailbird phone calls right this second with Bo, or oh I am- Oh my God, you've been listening in on my private conversations? You should be ashamed of yourself. Talking like a girl from Cricketsville, you were raised better than that. You stay the hell out of my business and stop looking down your nose at Cricketsville. They got a Target now with a Banksy on the side of it. Yeah, right. I'm sure Banksy drove to Cricketsville and painted on this. Oh, you mean the ATM? Well, what the hell else would I be talking about? With all that information in your head, we should be calling you Encyclopedia Brown, which sounds like a slur, but isn't. Hey, I'll bet you can help me with something I've been struggling with. I doubt it. Come on, <laughs> give me a thrill. Take a whack at it. What exactly you want me to do? I'm sure you can figure out this clue. Come on, one across. Help me get started. Ow! Uh, what the hell? What the hell? I'll clean my room, I promise! Where's that guy's jet ski? That girl's jet ski? Whatever it was, it was into me, and I'm kissing it. Keep this dry for me, pretty. You were good? Yeah, but, I mean, don't worry about it. Nobody saw it. Yeah. Well, I guess it's about time we get on back in, huh? Same time tomorrow. Hey, I'm wide open. Like in football. Listen, you gain a couple, who cares? These have been the best 10 years of my life. I'm in it for every pound, every wrinkle, every gray hair. Aww. Are you scared of you? Come on, Dad. Look at them. I don't care what ironic t-shirt their closets pick out for them. Underneath, they're still nerds. Yeah, this might be okay. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hurry up, we want to go home. I can't get this damn thing to work. Oh. You should do a hard reboot, go back to the urinal and reapproach. What's going on in there? I can't even get a trickle out of this thing. Oh, I find not thinking about it helps. No, it's... Since I'm waving my arms like I'm directing a plane into a gate. <laughs> 
He's gonna break it like he broke the remote control. Let's just go. The paper towel thing is automatic too. Oh, oh Dad. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Um, I love a lot. I have a lot of fun making these and my hot takes video should be coming out soon and I do have a couple of other videos coming out in the near future so thank you guys so much for all of your support on this out of context series and thank you guys for getting Bertram iconic moments um, to over 10k part two for that is coming out real soon 